Hey everyone, my name is Curtis Mutter and I'm the Director of Product Management for our Public Sector Desktop Products here at Magnet Forensics. And I'm excited to do a demonstration for you of our brand new Exhibit Builder tool. Exhibit Builder is designed as a report generation tool that's a little bit different than some of the forensic reports that are available in Axiom today. Rather than exporting all of your artifact content to a PDF or an Excel spreadsheet, what Exhibit Builder is really intended to do is allow you to tell the story of the, your findings. So it gives you free form report writing capabilities integrated with your Axiom data sources. So you can see here on the screen when I fire up the application, the first thing it's going to ask me to do is either open an existing report or create something new. You choose a location where you want to store that report. And then you can choose whether you want to create just an empty document or start from a template. And templates can be created within this tool. If you have templates existing in Microsoft Word today, it's really easy to copy and paste that content over and create brand new templates. And this gives you a really nice jumping off point for all of your new reports. I'm going to start from a template. And that's going to load in my content. And what you're going to see here is a really straightforward um, this is just a really basic template. I've got my logo here. I've got a space for my case number. Uh, add in my name. And you'll notice all of the controls are pretty straightforward. If you're familiar with the word processing tool, um, you'll pick this up really easily. Uh, it's got all of the standard editing controls, styling. You can use styles here just like you can in Microsoft Word. Um, the ability to insert external pictures, links to other uh, locations, documents, sort of all of those standard features you would expect in a, an editing tool. But where the real power of Exhibit Builder comes is its ability to interface to your Axiom case data. So the first thing I'm going to do here is click Manage. And this allows me to add case file data to my report. I'm going to browse to one of my Axiom cases. I've got one kind of queued up here. I choose the database file and click open. This is going to query that case and ask me which data that I'm interested in bringing into my report. So often you may have thousands of items tagged in a case. Um, it's really dependent on what you want to bring in to include or more importantly, exclude from the report. So in this example, I ran one of my AI models against this case. I don't need to bring in all 3,000 of those pictures, so I'm going to uncheck a few of these. I'm really just interested in the items I've bookmarked and marked specifically for the report. I can also bring in different reports that have been exported from Axiom and add those as an appendix. So in this example, I'm just going to bring in export 8. That's a PDF document that I generated. I'm going to click OK. I can add as many case files as I want to the report. So in lots of cases, we know um, an investigation may involve multiple Axiom cases. You might have multiple um, phones, for example, in separate case files, and you need to bring all of those findings together in a single report. So I could add as many case files as I want to this. In this case, I'm just going to bring in the one Axiom case. I can also bring in external files. So this could be things like documents that I want to append. It could be um, screenshots. So I've got a folder here. I'm just going to bring in some screenshots. And I click OK. What you're going to see over here on the right is all of that artifact data loaded in from my case. I can scroll through and I can if I mouse over any of the content, it's going to give me a preview of that artifact data. And where the real power of this starts to shine is how easily I can start bringing this into my case. So I've got a key finding section designed here. If this was an artifact I wanted to add to my report, I simply drag and drop it in. And now I've got the artifact data available. You'll notice over here, put a little check mark on this artifact indicating that it's already been added to my report. And I can continue to drag and drop in new items. 
the difference between this and other reporting tools is now I can add my own context or whatever other supporting information I require. So in this imaginary investigation, we're, we're dealing with owl trading. So you can see here, the suspect search for owl eggs on 03. 26 and you can be as detailed or verbose as you want if i'm not interested in presenting all of these details to my stakeholders i simply click on this item and choose which fragments so in this example i don't need the artifact id but i do want to know um, the date and time when this search occurred and what the search term was and i click ok and you can see it reduces that information now, I'm not able to click in and add my own information, and this is really important. You want to make sure the information in your report is accurate and represents what was in your Axiom case. So if I come back over here to the artifacts section, as I scroll down, um, you'll notice I've got some artifacts that include media. So that can also be included by dragging this owl. I get the, all of the data that was recovered in relation to this picture. I also get... Um, the picture itself. Here I can have some basic editing capabilities. So if there was a part of the picture I really wanted to highlight, um, or if I needed to change the formatting or the size, I can do that within the report. And again, if there are any fields that I want to manage, I can simply edit any of that content here. So if I don't need to show uh, the hash values, for example, I'm just going to remove those just to make it a little bit more concise and ensure that I'm only highlighting the important details. If we're looking over here at the data sources, often you may have hundreds or even thousands of artifacts. So we do include search capabilities. So if I hunt for owl in this example, this is going to narrow my artifact set down to any hits that include the keyword owl. I can also apply a filter to my list. So I had mentioned I could bring in multiple cases. Here I would be able to filter to specific case data. I can filter to specific tags um, or even specific artifact types. So if I'm only interested in pictures tagged with the report, I can simply filter down. And now I can very quickly find the evidence that I'm after as I'm trying to tell the story of my evidence. I also touched on um, the ability to bring in external files. So if you click on the external files, you'll see there was a lot of content in those directories. So you can see the export directory. But you'll notice here I did end up with two PDF documents. Now, when I drag those in, it's actually going to add them to the appendices section. And what that means, so you can see here, you'll get a preview of that document. When I publish this report, this document is going to get appended to the end of my main uh, report that I'm writing here. This is a great way to attach appendices um, or other key information that you might want to include. It could include reports from other tools as well. So whatever you need to add. Um, the final thing I want to touch on is the evidence tab. And this provides information about the evidence item that was scanned itself. So in this particular case, you can see I had five different evidence items. And I can show you that if I jump over to the Axiom case itself, you can see I had um, a Google takeout, I had a couple computer images, so an SD card, a thumb drive, I had an iPhone backup. So if I want to include details about any of these devices in my report, um, Exhibit Builder is all automatically going to generate that summary. So here's the information card for that mobile device. I simply drag and drop that into my report and I get a nice clean um, rendering of all of that information. So I get the UDID, the IMEI, all the kind of the key information from that mobile device automatically formatted and dropped into my report. So very quickly, I can start to merge, you know, what happened and the supporting evidence um, within that case. The last feature I wanted to highlight is that you can actually be working on your report as you're doing your investigation. So if I jump back over here to examine if you could imagine that I'm doing my live investigation and I come across 
some interesting hits that I want to include in my case. So I'm going to do a quick search for the term owl here. Um, and maybe I'm interested in torrent URLs. So you can see here they were using the Pirate Bay. I'm going to highlight those and apply my report tag. And because that was a tag that I've used in my report, if I jump back over here to Exhibit Builder now and refresh my data sources, jump back to Artifacts, I'm going to filter again by that report tag. And now what you're going to see, okay, scroll down, are all of these torrent URLs. So in real time, I can be working back and forth between my cases or across multiple monitors. I can multi-select these guys and drag them in. And here are all of my torrent hits immediately ready to go. So it can really be something that doesn't have to wait until your investigation's done and you can be working back and forth and building out your report as you go. Finally, when you're ready to export your report, simply come up to the file menu, choose publish report, and it will allow you to save it to a PDF to your local file system. Again, this is going to export the report that you've crafted as well as append any additional documents that you've outlined. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.